The ground has been dry. 16 days we have been in a heat advisory. And now people are hungry for what? Rain. In order for there to be rain, there must be a disruption in the atmosphere. You better preach, Hawkins. There must be a disruption in the stuff we don't see in order for there to be a production of rain. You know when it rains, don't y'all hear the grass saying, thank you, God. My God in heaven, thank you, God. Woo, more rain. See, when we allow the Holy Spirit to move in our lives, there's got to be a disruption in the norm. That's got to be, my brothers and sisters, because there has been a corruption in the higher heights. But now there must be a disruption of the corruption so God can bring forth the rain. And so God wants to do it in your life, but we've got to allow change to happen. It is amazing to note when we read Deuteronomy how God promised his people success and prosperity. He tells them that I'm going to bless you so much you won't have room enough to hold all the blessings I'm going to give you. He tells them I'm about to give you houses you didn't build. I'm about to give you wells you didn't dig. I'm about to give you vineyards you didn't plant. He says so I'm going to give you the land but you got to fight for it. If you are any, if you are checked in this morning and you are not comatose, that should have been a contradiction of terms. You go give it to me and I got to fight for it? My definition of give it to me means give it to me, right? You telling me give, then fight? That don't make sense. See, God has a method to his madness. God says, I'm going to give you victory, but you got to put something in on this. Tell your neighbor, I got five on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because when you are invested, you're going to do everything in your power to achieve the ultimate goal. See, God says when you are in the battle, you appreciate the promise a whole lot better. See, some of us have been born and raised with a silver spoon, so-called, and we don't necessarily appreciate that mama took us out of the, uh, of the drive-by alley. We don't necessarily appreciate that, 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 that mama got a car, daddy got a car, so we, like, like the previous generation, had to catch the bus and walk to school. We See, some of us young folk don't appreciate it. We think that's just the way it's supposed to be, and we complain, mama drive faster, daddy, I want a car at age 30. Baby, what? If you knew what I had to go through to get us what we got, you wouldn't be so complaint oriented. See, there's something about the fight. My God in heaven, there's something about the fight that allows you to appreciate the blessing of God. So God says, I'm going to give it to you, but you got to fight for it. And I don't know about you, but I am ready to fight for my promises. I'm ready to battle for what God has in store for me. Oh, don't miss this moment because, see, some of us are in a battle right now and you feel like you have lost. But maybe it's only round 10 of a 12 round fight. You still have the potential with God to give the devil a KO, but you cannot give up right now don't throw in the towel don't say he wearing me out he ain't wearing you out he's giving you an opportunity to get tired of yourself so you can say God I need help 